Hello again, welcome to another video. So this video I thought I'd do my top five uh, Sega Dreamcast games. So uh, I can remember I had the Sega Dreamcast, got that roughly, roughly day one. It was like, uh, I think it was one of my first few paychecks. Uh, I went out and bought it. It was, I think it was like 300 quid at the time. A lot of money to me then, but I absolutely love the machine. Uh, loads of great arcade ports, fantastic machine. But all right, so anyway, <clears throat> my top five. So number one, I think I got this game, it was Christmas 1999. And it is my favourite game on there, Shemu. Yeah, uh, absolutely love this game. Uh, this box, this box, a little bit beat up on the corners, but the discs are perfect in here. Yeah, th this game uh, absolutely, absolutely blew my mind. Uh, you know, to me, it was like an open world. It isn't quite like that, is it? Really, but you can go and talk to people. You can investigate stuff. Uh, you know, that's where the sailors are. Where's Charlie? All that kind of stuff. But yeah, uh, they can go in bars at night and. Yeah, it was so, so good. It was so good. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, number one, uh, Shemu. And no surprise, number two is Shemu 2. Now, I got this. I think it was two, either 2000, 2001. I can't remember when, when it came out, but there wasn't that many releases, I don't think, in in, uh, in the UK. Uh, my mum managed to bag me one for Christmas. Uh, yeah, and Shemu 2 just follows on the same path. Uh, show me one. He's in Hong Kong now, isn't he? And yeah, fantastic game. It's a bigger world, got different areas, more characters. It probably is a better game than the first one. But I've got a lot of nostalgia for that first one. That's why it's my favourite. And I play, I've completed that about ten times the first one. But yeah, number two is Shamu Two, and I've got these little protector boxes. All right, number three is Skies of Arcadia. Which we've got in this special uh, case. I've only got the discs. Yeah. There's the disc lot. Yeah, Skies of Arcadia. What can I say? Uh, come on, we're getting this. <clears throat> and I wasn't I wasn't big into JRPGs at the time, but playing this, a game like this, I think it was this that got me into JRPGs. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, the story, the cast, uh, the voice acting, uh, the bad guys are quite funny in it. But yeah, so number three is Skies of Arcadia. Put that back. All right, number four, and this is a game I always play when I uh, get, get on my uh, Dreamcast. But I've got all my Dreamcast games here. They're all lined up. They're all kind of double stacked a bit. I ain't got loads, but I've got all the ones I like to play. Uh, but yeah, so uh, what's that? Number three was that. So number four, struggling to count again. Number four is Capcom versus SNK. Yeah, absolutely yeah love this game this is this one's in really good condition the case opens nice the uh i don't know what you call them little fin bits here gone but the discs in the back and there's a man manual manuel but yeah absolutely love this game the crossover of snk and capcom uh i've I played this for hours and hours and hours because i love street fighter 2 uh and this got me I played a little bit of King of Fires back in the day on the in the arcades, but not loads. But this got me into King of Fires, and I love it. Absolutely love King of Fires now because because of this game, yeah, great game. So number four is Capcom versus SNK. And then number five, this is a great game. Is Street Fighter Three, uh, Street Fighter Alpha Three, should I say? Uh, absolutely fantastic game. Uh, it's almost a perfect Street Fighter game, this is. Absolutely love it. Uh, this one's not in bad condition. I don't know if this is a bit pricey now. Uh, the fin bit's gone again in there, as per usual. And then you go manual and disc. But yeah, this is such a great game. Uh, hours of fun on this. Uh, and especially with my arcade cab, what I made in the cabin. Uh, bang this thing, got the arcade stick. Fantastic game. But yeah, so number five is uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my top five Dreamcast games. And in the comments, just tell me what your favourite games are, because everyone's got different, you know, preferences and everything for what a, what a good game is and everything. It's just interesting how other people's are. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.